Hey guys, thanks for joining me for a new top five niches of the week video. In this one, as predicted last week, it was a little hard to find like niches that I really felt great about. So I actually expanded the scope of my research because I was combing through the Amazon merch niche research tools that I normally use and really struggling to find some niches that just seemed not just in high demand, but also like kind of new or at least that seemed approachable. You know, I don't want to just say, oh yeah, go sell vote shirts, you know, just make a shirt that says vote and then, you know, pray that you get a chance to rank at all and get in front of customers. Um, so I'm always trying to look for something that, you know, will uh, help you guys make those sales with a realistic expectation of, of standing a chance of getting a sale without having to advertise. So it took me a while. I expanded the scope. I ended up using some Redbubble research tools to get more ideas and, you know, I was actually pretty uh, happy with the results. Sometimes people ask like, hey, if I find, or, you know, they ask like top five niches and you're using Amazon, like, will these sell on Redbubble? Yes, they'll sell on Redbubble. The difference is how much competition you have. But if they're selling on Amazon, they're selling on Redbubble too. Here I did the inverse of that. Looked at Redbubble trends. Are they going to sell on Amazon? Oh, look, like Amazon isn't serving these shirts up organically. So when I'm doing my research using the research tools, they may not pop up into the, um, the top shirt ranks, but they're still selling. And sometimes you have to find other ways of discovering these types of shirts. So anyways, I've got some good ones for you guys. Let's dive into things. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to consider hitting that big red button this week, I'm going to be talking about Amazon merch phone cases, talking strategy to get some really high quality phone cases done with ease. I'm going to do some Etsy shop reviews, talk Etsy print on demand, and I'm going to talk about a game changing KDP tool um, without going into much detail. Trust me, you're going to like that one. All right, real quick, we got winners from last week's giveaway. I'm going to follow up with you via email. One of them already hit me up on uh, my Discord channel, which I got a link to in the description if you guys want to come hang out because uh, he noticed that it was probably his email, and it was. So congrats to the winners. Almost $700 in prizes to each of them, uh, including 12 months, a year to flying upload. So how about that? If you stay till the end of this video, uh, we've got some other sponsors for this week, and it's almost $500 in prizes to each winner. So check that out. It's free to enter. And real quick, if you're new to my channel, let me introduce myself. I'm Ryan Hogue. I've sold over $1.8 million on Amazon to date. If you'd like to follow the links in the description, I've got a free eight-day print-on-demand mini course delivered via email. I've got a print-on-demand Facebook community. I'd love to have you there. I publish income reports on the first day of each month. So if you want to subscribe, you can follow my progress as a print-on-demand seller. Things are about to get crazy as we head into November and December. And last but not least, I have a full print-on-demand course. Over 80 lectures. It's going to be over 100 lectures soon. Been working a lot of, on a lot of things behind the scenes. So check that out. Link in the description. All right, let's get into these top five niches of the week. And uh, this one, so like I said at the beginning, this week is a little different because I was not feeling compelled by any... Nothing was jumping off the charts at me. So I knew I was going to have to get a little creative this week. And with niche number one, I still think there's a lot of potential for 2020 kind of humor. You know, put a negative spin on the year 2020 and cross niche the negative 2020 spin with upcoming trends. You know, maybe it's, you know, bad 2020 Thanksgiving or bad 2020 Christmas. I don't have an exact niche here, but. You know, just for an example, I dropped a video two weeks ago, I think, where I walked through creating this shirt, or I created it for like a demo, I think, for one of my videos. And it's just been selling on the keywords 2020 sucks. Take, I think it was just 2020 sucks. Like people type in funny 2020 sucks, and I'm getting ranked and I'm getting sales and I'm getting higher and higher organic rank on this shirt that I just made for a video. I didn't even go and do any niche research or anything like that, but I knew in my head, I'm like, well, I know that the, 2020 being not a great year parody shirts are doing really well so i just went for it and uh yeah i'm just throwing this out there as niche number one because i think there's more potential than what meets the eye here for just 2020 parody shirts also the graphic i use there is from all sunsets in case anybody's wondering because i'm not that great of a graphic designer but i leave it to the experts and they are a sponsor of this week's video so if you want to check them out show them some love there's a link in the description niche number two so this one says i may be old but i got to see all the cool bands and again, this isn't a screaming, like, sell this shirt, sell this shirt. Like, if you're in tier 10, I don't know that this is a niche that I would really sell because it's selling well and it appears to be evergreen. I don't know why it's selling as well as it is right now, but it's definitely ranked amongst the top shirts. And I don't remember seeing it last week. So I went ahead and included it. 
Uh, but again, this week, as we transition away from Halloween, because keep in mind, it's not Halloween yet as of me releasing this video, but I went in and checked the fulfillment and delivery times for t-shirts, and I was not able to order any shirts to myself that would get here by or before Halloween. So again, we're kind of just waiting to see how the landscape shifts after Halloween passes, because right now it's like so top heavy with trademarked big brands putting Halloween spins on their big brand um niche whatever you know niche characters or whatever so it's a tough week uh but niche number two i may be old but i got to see all the cool bands these are selling really well uh so i went ahead and included that as you can see here too if you don't believe me going back to september 26th and this is by the way from merch ninja who uh sponsors our giveaways every other week so if you want to show them some love as well this is who i use for my niche research you can see on that left hand uh, chart there, the BSR history, that it is certainly trending down and then steadily holding at right now uh, 17,000 BSR. So this is doing really well. Niche number three, and this is where I think I shook it up with some Redbubble trend uh, tools. And then I looked at Amazon and I was like, all right, yeah, look at the BSRs, validate them, make sure it's looking good. It's looking good. So this one is kayaking gets me wet. <laughs> and this one actually used to be trademarked. But I went ahead and looked at the uh, the record, and it is no longer uh, registered. I think they let it go actually almost like 20 years ago. So, uh, so this one should be safe. Um, there's even one. Check that out. <laughs> the second shirt there is priced at $25. By the way, I've always tinkered with the idea of pricing at $25. I have one shirt that I do, and it actually sells probably like one a week, and it gives me like a $9 royalty. But if you sell at $25, I'm pretty sure that's what you need to get the the free shipping on non-Prime members. So like someone who doesn't have Amazon Prime, I think it's free shipping at 25 bucks. So it's something you may want to consider tinkering with if you have a bestseller, even for a couple days. Uh, just a thought. You know, I haven't done it too much, but I have I have done it in one case where it works consistently. Uh, so yeah, this niche, I don't again, I don't know why it's selling as well as it is. And it evaded the detection of the niche research tools that I typically lean on. So I had to get this idea from a Redbubble tool. But I mean, looking at page one, first row, average BSR is around 200K. Second row, average BSR is around 375K maybe or 400K. Uh, but, you know, that's pretty good. And considering that like this is a simple text design, this is not too hard um, I can already tell you that this graphic right here that you're seeing uh, on that shirt above me and the one on the left is from the website Vexels, uh, which I talked about earlier this week. I used them as an example in one of my videos. I know that because I went ahead and I threw one of these together because um, I think I'm going to upload them to my girlfriend's account. Well, I'm going to have her upload them uh, because we're doing like a kind of like a tier 10, tier 25, like early tier challenge where we're trying to get out of the early tiers and um you know i figured why not these are some easy to make designs that seem to be selling well enough that we're going to put some on her account and see how they do by the way you can check that out i'll put a link in the description if you want to check out her channel because we're completely transparent about our uploads our designs etc and um in the last like two weeks we've made almost 30 sales so she's gonna tear up soon niche number four so i pulled this from the Redbubble trends tool as well and this is merry quarantine christmas i was surprised to see that Christmas shirts are already selling well, but this is validated as far as I'm concerned on Amazon merch. You can see the BSRs here are in like the 200K range, 200 to 300K range. The one behind me is 600K. I don't know why it's uh, ranked at the top of page one because additional shirts on page one all had low BSRs. And to my surprise, there was already over a thousand results indexed on Merry Quarantine Christmas. So, I mean, I guess there's a chance I didn't comb through all 1,000. So maybe it's confusing merry christmas with merry quarantine christmas but i'm pretty sure i mean there was a lot like of these 2020 christmas shirts already being put up so if you guys want to carve out a piece of that pie for yourself number one customers are searching for it on redbubble and amazon number two if you wait much longer you're just going to get washed out because it seems like there's a lot of people selling it as well and notice too like what they're doing they're taking christmas designs that we know work from the past uh like the second design there reminds me of you know christmas designs that we see selling every year um, at least in that style. So just kind of go back in time, look at what sold uh, last year, the year before, et cetera. Look for the styles and then put a 2020 spin on it. Like they just put the mask on the reindeer and put 2020 and added the word quarantine and have put a bottle of hand sanitizer. So you get the gist here. There's a lot of potential. Um, I can't imagine why somebody would want to wear these shirts, but either way, because I think 2020 is more or less a year to forget. 
<laughs> for most people at least like i said my my life's been pretty good in 2020 just being honest but um yeah this this as a year as a whole has not been the greatest niche number five so all these shirts come in the same design style it says save the drama for your mama they have the red text inside of lips on a uh, white t-shirt and one thing i noticed is this niche is all priced pretty high like three of these shirts are priced above 19 dollars, and the fourth the one behind me is 1599 so there's definitely some potential to make some money here and i went ahead and looked at the next row down and you can see like 1999 2699 with a 900k bsr so they're making like 10 bucks per sale pretty nice and uh 1999 again and then they got a cheap one there 1395 but i believe there was like 170 results when i looked at the search merch tool so i'd say that's approachable I checked the trademark database. It used to be trademarked. It no longer is. So while I have no clue what this is in reference to, uh, it's probably like some TV show or some influencer. You know, when you see every shirt in the same color and style, it typically means that it's some reference that a subset of people get. I'm not amongst them. But as far as like potential sales go, we know this is validated on Amazon by BSR and we know it's validated on Redbubble by the trends. Looking ahead, November 3rd is Sandwich Day, November 6th, Saxophone Day, November 7th, International Stout Day. November 9th, Chaos Never Dies Day. That one sounds pretty extreme. And November 11th, Origami Day. Bonus shirts. So this first one I just thought was funny. It says, I'm an adult in really big text. And underneath that really small, it says technically. So I, I just thought that was a funny like 18th birthday uh, shirt. And then this one, this is a niche from the Redbubble Trends tool that is not validated on Amazon. So on Amazon, I couldn't really find good BSRs on these shirts, but there was a bunch of the shirts, right? So it's like, why are people selling all of these on Amazon? Nobody's making sales. I wonder if just there's a handful of people looking at the Redbubble Trends tool and then just going ahead and throwing all of them up on Merch by Amazon. But I'm sharing this as the bonus because while it's not validated, it was ranked relatively high on the Redbubble Trends. So I'm wondering if there's potential here to increase in BSR and increase in sales or if it's just some fluky thing on Redbubble. I don't know. All right, deleted designs. Let's take a quick look. Uh, we see a lot of the Greek fraternity, sorority shirts each week, it seems like. Uh, what else? We have the Superman logo in two of them. We have the Punisher logo in another one. So yeah, definitely stay away from the copyrighted stuff. Oh yeah, G uh, sorry, the Superman logo in three of them. Then you see some Hunter Biden references, which hopefully this video doesn't get suppressed just because I said that name since there's an incredible amount of censorship around that uh, topic, if you will. So yeah, don't, if something's getting like actively censored on Facebook and Twitter, you don't want to sell it on an Amazon merch t-shirt because a lot of these big tech companies are in cahoots behind the scenes. So typically look for the canary in a coal mine. And when you see a censorship hammer being, being brought down anywhere, that's pretty much your sign to like stay away you know all right and we've got a new giveaway to talk about this week over a thousand dollars in prizes are being given away and you can enter for free to win my print on demand mega pack all you have to do is use the link in the description and you can gain additional entries by performing little tasks like following me on facebook instagram twitter etc but this is sponsored this week by merch titans automation you can win three free months of merch titans automation using their upload tools you can win a free month of Merch Ninja Research Tools, which is what I use for my top five niches of the week video. And last, but of course not least, you can win a free month to all sunsets, pre-made sunset graphics, which people are using all the time. I was looking at that, uh, what was it, niche number three with the kayaking niche. And one of the best sellers was using one of my favorite graphics from all sunsets where they had like extended it out a little bit like done some customizations and then overlaid a kayaker graphic on top and then done the curved text and i was loving it i'm sure it might be one of you guys watching this videos um watching this video but yeah guys i love the all sunsets as well so they're sponsoring this week's giveaway and if you'd like to enter link in the description all right and that's it for this week's top five niches of the week video i'm excited to see what next week brings once we get past Halloween. Actually, you know what? It might not even be next week because I think Halloween is on Saturday. So either way, we'll have to get creative. I might need to use the Redbubble Trends uh, Analysis tool next week again as well. But either way, I'm happy that I was able to bring together some niches for you guys to attack this week. And again, if you want to see how I'm getting my girlfriend's Amazon merch account out of the lower tiers, we're completely transparent on her channel. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want to follow along. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll see you soon. Passive Income School is open. Enroll now at riotsmethod.com. Thank you.